Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to configure the Cypress reporter for the Keys TMS. I have already pre-configured an example of a project. I have installed Cypress and Cypress Case Reporter as dependencies for this project, and I added two npm scripts, open and test. And I have already run open in order to create example tests from it. Also, I've added a test script in order to run just one specification. So first of all, we should configure the Cypress reporter. And in order to do this, we should open the Cypress JSON file and add information about the reporter there. I'll just copy it from the repository and paste it in. Of course, we should also change the API token to a proper one, which can be obtained in the cases menu, which is accessible when the user picture is clicked. I just need to generate a new token and copy it, then paste it into my JSON file. My project code is demo tr, so I will also insert it into the file. And since I also don't want to publish my results into some predefined write ID, I will just remove it. I'll leave logging as true to make sure that everything is working fine. So next, I should configure my tests. First, I should import from Cypress case reporter a case decorator that will add the case IDs to my tests. And to do it, I can paste string, number, or array of these cases here. But I want to publish two results for two different test cases, which are already predefined. So I will just add their ID numbers, one and two. And after that, I can simply run my test configuration. But before that, I should define an environmental variable, case report, and set it to any non-empty value. And since I'm using Windows, I'm setting it like this. And after that, I can run my tests. As we see, we have created a new run with ID 110, and in the run itself, we have successful results for cases, which we can also review.
Now let's decorate a different test with a case ID and let's make it fail in order to see what the result will be. As you can see, now there is one more informational message telling us about waiting for publishing all test results, and sometimes there is a large queue of results, and it prevents you from stopping testing until all results are published. But 30 seconds gives us enough time to wait for all of the results to be published, even if there are a lot of them. So the test result is passed again. As it is a random number generation, I will just need to set some value that is impossible or hard to obtain for this test to fail. So let me do that. Okay, now the test has failed, and in the UI of case we also have the failed result recorded, while the exact problem that occurred can be found in the stack trace. And that pretty much wraps up the configuration of Cypress Reporter for case.